Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn how to do the logging with Pino in Node.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we have the Pino logging. So basically Winston is also there, but let's do with the Pino. Okay. So you can do the comparison with the Winston and the Pino, right? So most of the people are using and they have the pretty much downloads. So I will show you. <clears throat> so here we have the NPM Pino. So here you can see that Pino pretty. So here you can see that they have the multiple figure downloads. So <laughs> we should use that low overhead node shares logger, right? So we should use that one. Okay. So let's see how we are going to do that. So here we have the Pino code. Let me control a control C and let's go to our code base. So here we have any node projects we will open node.js. I think we have the node top node. So let's open in a terminal. Okay. And let's go with the code. Okay, so here we have the code, right? So let's create the Pino login. Pino login dot JS. Let's paste the code. Okay. Now we have to install the respective NPM packages that is Pino. So let's go to the terminal and NPM my Pino. Let's try to add this. Okay, we require the HTTP also. So let's go and add the http part also so here we go with pino http okay so here we go with this one npmi pino http so this is also done let's note pino logging so what it says pino http print unable to define so let's add this one Okay, let's go with this one. So here you can see that the logging part started with the timestamp info. Okay, and the server is running on the port. Okay, if I just go with the front end and let's log do the local host 3000 and just hit here you can see that the logging the route is local host and the favicon these two are hits. If I go with any about route, so there is about right so here you can see that about route with the get request 200 millise milliseconds and if i go with the api then what will happen no request found okay what else we have recorded what are the routes we have um, logged so here you can see that about api data okay so this is that one So uh, just put this one. So this is static data from the API and here you can see that this is the get request. So you can see that beautifully nice way. What are the get requests, post requests coming out and the URL also coming with the seconds there. Okay, so proper logging is there, right? So let's see how we have done this one. So what we have to do, we have to install the respective NPM packages, then create a Pino logger instance. Uh, turn off the default logging output, transport target for so the HTTP transport for the formatting the output options, destination or translate time. Okay. Now we have to express, then we have to use the express Pino logger with the custom level. So make sure you are, if you want to make it like this, you can make it else you can just skip it. Okay. It's up to you. Right. And next we have to return the routes respective because we on the express we have configured the routes configured the pino logger right so it will automatically log that part so just we have to create the endpoints automatically log into your terminal okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day